Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 1 Onikakushi. The title of this game, man, is very long. So when we do the other chapters, I think it's much more longer, right? And yeah, so last episode, we did some uh, fun times with the boys and girls, right? They played some card games. And after that, Keichi went to what do you call this the garbage dump i suppose but for rena it's the treasure place she's still looking for colonel randy right maybe we will get colonel randy in this episode we will have to see but we learned a little bit more again about the dismemberment a murder that happened in hinamizawa right so yeah uh let's just continue let's see what happens today so we are in chapter four finished chapter three last time The functions of the school as an educational facility is very questionable. RP class is exceptionally disorganized. The only things we do together are the warm-ups at the beginning or at the start. The teacher isn't even there after that. All we do is play together. So basically what you're doing is, yeah, just warm up and then do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Yeah, but then again, right? You gotta really play like physical sports because, yeah, the age are different. Some are teenagers, some are little kids, right? All the little kids were gallivanting about. Well, they certainly are being active. They might be getting plenty of exercise, but. お待たせしましたです。さて、ご一同様。今日の体育は何をいたしましょう。おさ。これでいつものメンバー全員集合だな。さて、委員長、今日は一体どんな体育をやるのかな？やるのかな？ねえ、what yeah, will we play today? Mion harumed and crossed her arms haughtily, surveying the area. By explosive power and endurance, what? Equipped without a missing a beat. I mean, yeah, tag. Yeah, it was quite the adorable choice to make after playing it up so much. That dunderhead Keiichi son. Everyone smirk at each other. They all seem they're pretty confident. I'm a man. Physically, I should be able to keep up with any girls my own age. Regardless, Mion and Satoko looked like they were aiming for victory, and Rena was looking at me as if pitying my advantage or disadvantage. I remember watching a Japanese movie called Tag. Watch it, it was very, very crazy for for some reason right and very bloody yeah try and check it out it's, it was named tag or onigoku something like that my yell echoed across the school grounds these were the rules anyone who was able to uh, evade it being tagged before the bell was a winner but it didn't switch who was it the ones who were tagged by it also become it 
Oh, okay, so it just increased the number of people who were it. The end game would become a hellish siege, though. ここいるではこんな遊びのことゾンビを煮って呼んでるけどね。うん、ゾンビタイ。なるほど。食われた奴がゾンビ化するからな。なんでそんな怖いこと言うんだろう。だろう。レナを捕まえたら生きたままお
チくん簡単なのにしてあげてね五分の一のケーキと六分の一のケーキと七分の一のケーキを一皿に乗せましたオッケー分母が違いますですのサタコ grabbed the stick in a panic and began drawing a cake and fractions on the ground ケーキ一個を六十秒で食べられるサタコがそれを全部食べるとお皿にはケーキがいくつ残っているでしょう Just as I finished giving the word problem, a me and shouted. Yo, stop! On me and signal, everyone but Satako scattered. Kechikun. <laughs> Kechikun. Sorry, Monday, Jan. Satako had already lost the moment she started working it out. She's eating it all, so of course there's nothing left on the plate. Everyone dashed off in a direction they thought was best. Knowing the lay of the land, they probably headed right to the best spots. It was obvious I was at a disadvantage. At a time like this, it would have been more effective to go along with those trained in survival skills. Like Mion, for example. The fact I didn't realize it at the start of the game probably hurt my chances. Glancing back over the school grounds, I saw Satako just rising up to start. She was really, really mad. She got tripped up on such a dumb question. I stood at one of the corners of the school. I had to clear I had cl clear sight lines in two directions and would probably have a good response time if any zombies started closing in. For the time being, I caught my breath and focused on what I was trained to think during club activities yesterday. Now think calmly, Keiichi Maibara. If I was it, what would I do? Increasing my numbers would be the shortcut to victory. Then going after the weakest player first is the obvious plan of attack. Meaning me. Okay. She is gonna chase after Keiichi, of course. But of course. What would be the best method to track me down? Footprints, or smell, or maybe some type of trail. If I could craftily hide my tracks, then there would be no trail for Satoko to follow. But I was no detective. Would I even be able to do that kind of thing in an amateur game like this? Tomita Okumura! Tomita Okumura? I guess that's other students. What the heck? Do zombies hunt their prey by asking nicely where they went? Tomita Kun and Akumura Kun pointed to the location where I was hiding. After confirming she was headed in this direction, I abandoned my position. It wasn't easy to hide myself with all those little kids running around as they pleased. It was becoming even more obvious that I was at a disadvantage from not being familiar with the surroundings. If that's how it's gonna be, then to confront this intelligence gathering zombie, I just counter it in a similar vein. I approach some girls playing with the ball. I stop the girls as they turn to run off. I'm quite the schemer, if I do so, say so myself. If things went well, then Sazeko and Mion would run into each other at the gate. It would put me at, at a disadvantage if more people were it, but this was Mion we were talking about. She'd figure out a way to escape. But that was just fine. As long as it bought me more time. Dance for me, Mion and Satoko. In the palm of my hand. Having my fill of playing the con man, I look for a place to hide. If you think about it logically, I'd only bought myself a scant amount of time. And it might even come back to bite me. Once it became apparent I started spreading false information through messengers, I could end up being the recipient of a, one of those messages. Satoko would probably ask the messengers to help her look for me. That would mean there would be more zombies than participants in the game. The virus that was brought about my mischief could cause an epidemic. 
all my classmates would transform into zombies and would only be searching for me. This tactic. This tactic might backfire horribly. While trembling at the thought of the impending dawn of the dead, I began searching for a safe house. Dawn of the dead. I found a shed by the incinerator behind the school. After climbing up the roof, I held my breath. It wasn't a bad place to hold out. Not only did I have a good line of sight, but if necessary, I could jump off in three different directions. It was getting rowdy down there. The lower graves were running around below the shed. We haven't seen another boy though in the class, right? It's all it's only girls. Oh, they're baiting him. That was definitely a lie. The word gate, the same one I'd used, gave a hint of revenge. So Mion was behind this. I was still keep or I was still keeping one step ahead of the game. I felt bad for my underclassmen, but they'd have to search until the school bell. Oh, imagine if this is actually real though, right? Maybe it's real. <laughs> that, that's a lot of things that happened there. If a jumbo jet fell on your house in this small village, you've noticed by now. <laughs> Anything goes now. <laughs> Peeping into bathrooms now? They're pretty much are trying to force him to talk. Who are they talking about? No way I would do that. <laughs> this was her doing, Mion. Calm down, Keichu Maibara. This is Mion's battle tactic to flush me out. Just hold on. If my other classmen thought about it logically, they would know it's all nonsense. But small kids don't think about things logically. To them, all those things were true, so they all chuckled together while looking for me. I win, Mion. It's my victory. Wiping and relenting tears away, I felt intoxicated by my own victory. <laughs> the cost of beating Mion had too high a price. Oh, someone passed down below. That's Rena and Rika-chan. Mion? It couldn't be. She'd become it because of my little strategy? This confirmed that Mion was behind this relentless message war. Then this wasn't good. Upon hearing that, I breathed a sigh of relief. While Rena was slumped on the ground, breathing heavily, Rika-chan had started creeping up to her. Rika-chan doesn't normally make noise when she walks, but it's strange. It couldn't be. I had never seen Rika-chan smile so creepily before. I mean, I guess she's it, right? She is a zombie. 
げますですうそだよね She said I'll eat you gently Reno spreads against the wall and Rika chan lurch forward with both arms out just like a zombie. Rena quake with her back pushed up against the wall. It was quite a surreal scene of horror. Like one of those zombie breakout videos you'd see. At the moment, Rena, Rena's eyes met mine. Zombie Rika chan turned 180 degrees, exorcist style, and glared at me. All of them are here now. Mion popped out from behind the cinder block wall around the garbage dump, also seeing where I was. My position was only advantageous when there was one zombie. Being surrounded was not as good. I could tell that Satoko was rushing my way. It seemed that Rika-chan had let Rena escape and now she was bearing her fangs in my direction. So they all wanted Keichi, I guess. <laughs> the tree zombies circled the shed with moaning curses. お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、
宇宙人が作った装置でロシの限界を解除しまず一個落としたらしいまさか俺もそこまでやるとは思わなかったしかも続いて今度は100個も地球軍の完全な誤算だ<笑> Propaganda Paliti of Zeon <laughs> What is that? The lower grades were dumbfounded, their eyes like saucers at the grand turn of events. Terran? What is Terran again? No, 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 uh. Terran is human, right? <laughs> So now they need Rena to defeat、uh, the aliens. <laughs> I don't know. The lower grade students all gulped. It seemed I made them fully understand that the fight for Earth was lost without Rena. <laughs> My comrades in the lower grades let out an enthusiastic cheer. And it dashed off in various directions around the school grounds. There was still one person who hadn't gone, though. Satisfied with that, she also rushed off to look for Rena. It does seem like there are some promising up and comers among the youngsters. Little k e i c h e n s ability. It didn't really feel like she was complimenting me, but whatever. Rika chan's words stung a bit, but I let it slide for now. It really did stung. <laughs> Not even Rena would be able to escape the entire class. As a result of an s t o r a l search, Rena was finally cornered in the back of the sports equipment shed. Keichikun. <laughs> It was probably scary being chased around by an entire student body. All the lower grades closed in on Rena, saying she was the only one who could save the world. Rena! I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I love how they're very into it when they're just playing normal games, right? <laughs> 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 Rena had stumbled onto a mat, trembling with tears in her eyes. I closed in, associating this situation with a similar, particularly immoral one, made my impulse quicken just a little bit. Satako and Riku chan were both wiggling their fingers. They probably wanted to tickle Rena. Rena, wanting no part of what she knew was about to happen, went stiff with fear. Ke、Keichi-kun, 
Ah, ah. <laughs> The face she made as she resigned herself to her fate made my heart, or my heart, I mean, skip a beat. My body, my body won't move. That had to be some sort of anti-zombie mantra. The second my sense of reason chimed in, the beast inside me died instantly. There was a bell. Game over. So she wins because yeah, she didn't get it. Keichi was playing too much. <laughs> Rena prance around merrily as if a curse had been broken. あと<笑><笑> I was subdued by Satako and Rika-chan and once again sentenced to death by 100 tickles. <laughs> Rena Ryugu and Mion Sonozaki. Wait. Mion? Oh, she was just pretending so no one would tag her. She's smart. Can you even do that though? <laughs> I like how the voice actor for Keiichi, man, the way he expresses uh, all those kind of emotions, right? Very nice. <laughs> oh my god. Having had my feel of being terrified to my very core by club activities, I solemnly swore I would have been on crying for mercy next time. So game time over, I guess, right? We do play games every start of the chapter, I suppose. Start chapter 3, we played some card game, and now we played tag. And now I guess we're gonna go home again, just like last time. Okay, we're heading home. Or maybe we'll go with Rena. Yeah, we'll go with Rena, right? We said that we're gonna help her. Okay, but we're home first, though. After arriving home, I quickly made out preparations to head out again. Oh, yes, because we're gonna go with Rena, right? I had agreed to meet with Rena to dig Colonel Randy out of the Mountain of Treasure from before. All right, and now I was all ready. Looking at me, my mom stared quizzically. If they come to the dump again illegally, he'll be buried completely and it'll be impossible to dig him out. And if that happens, Rena will undoubtedly go after the Colonel Randy in front of the fried chicken place in town. <laughs> I want to see the Colonel Randy, man. Show us the picture of Colonel Randy. <sighs> Mom returned to the kitchen with a puzzled expression still on her face. 
Cutting through the woods is a shortcut to the dam side. I ran into someone. Oh, are the photographer boy. It was the mutaki son. Probably taking pictures of wild birds again with that precious camera of his. It couldn't be that all he took pictures of was a handsome young man in the twilight. Hey, Jikun. I expelled the rude imagery from my head and greeted him without inciting anything. So, he was probably talking about Rena. Guessing by the way Tomitaki san was shaken up. What? Oh, okay, I guess. I guess he was kind of like not scared, but yeah, imagine walking around, right, with a hatchet like that. That was Rena without a doubt. I expect that she was grinning in anticipation of taking Colonel Randy home. Well, it certainly would be quite the spectacle for a girl of her age to be roaming around with a hatchet. Tomitaki-san's reaction was the epitome of a logical. Tomitaki-san was alarmed by my crass response. Well, it's probably hard for normal people to understand Rena. I'll just toss out a bunch of baloney. Don't jinx it though. Don't say he will be killed. <laughs> and then later it's gonna be killed, right? <laughs> I don't know. With a condensing smirk, I started off in the direction of the dam site where Rena was waiting. Before I got too far, Tomitaki-san abruptly called out to me. Uh, I didn't mean that seriously. I did try to make it obvious, but... <laughs> Leaving only those words behind, Tomitaki-san turned around and left. I didn't really mean to call him an outsider. I wasn't really implying anything when I said that. It was only meant to be a joke, but it felt like I said something bad. We are back. I understood what Tomitaki-san was trying to say. Somebody gallivanting about while having a hatchet around certainly would seem dangerous. True though. Yeah, with something with some history, right? With something happening here and people are uh, a person getting dismembered, right? You shouldn't be doing that or carrying something like that without even like a cover or anything. What? Seems like I lost it. What? Thinking about it, there really was no need to try to keep up appearances. Everyone in Hinamizawa probably already knew about Rena's eccentricities. She's probably the only person who would carry a hatchet around Hinamizawa and not be considered suspicious. I took the hatchet from Rena and made my way up the unstable slope. Randy-kun. Randy-kun, Keiichi-kun. A solid twack ran throughout Inamizawa as if the job was being done by a lumberjack. No. 
くいきそう無理そうだったら無理しなくていいよここさえ折れればあとはなんとかなる今日は気力も充実いける But this adversary was more formidable than I expected. First of all, I had never used a hatchet before. During a school camping trip, I had wanted to split the wood, but I lost at rocks, paper, scissors, and wasn't able to do it. Because the spot where I was standing was so unstable, I soon became tired and decided to take a break. Rena had already spread out a tarp and laid down some tea and sweets. But it's nice to go out with Rena all the time, right? She's always giving、uh, Keiichi food. You gotta clean that thing first, though. <laughs> そういえばレナも転校生だったんだろ前はどこに住んでたんだよ I asked her nonchalantly while drinking tea I thought she'd lived here all her life お、関東の方だよ関東ここほどじゃないけどやっぱり田舎だったかななんで引っ越してきたんだよひなみざわにほらここって結構田舎だろケイチ君はなんで引っ越してきたのお父さんの仕事と関係あるのかなうちの親父がアトリエを移したいって言い出したんだよ。Wait, what? Uh, okay. Yeah, we were asking her, right? And then she suddenly just changed it again. こういう山奥がいいって前々から言っててさ。アトリエレナ風景がばっかり描いてる。年に2回くらいはどっかで個展を開いてるらしい。When he started his works were displayed in an industry plaza in Tokyo, but now they're exhibited in the Makuhari Messe. He's determined to have them displayed in the Waterfront International Exhibition Hall, so his dad is pretty good, I suppose, right? I was so embarrassed to tell her that I didn't really know what kind of pictures my father painted. Well, eventually I would have picked myself up while giving some vague answers. I was trying to get answers from Rena, but I ended up being the one giving out all the answers. With a bit of a wary smile on my face, I grabbed the handle of the hatchet and headed back to the work site. The air grew colder as the sun slowly set. The Higurashi began their song as to tell me to stop and head home for the day. Just a bit more today, I would end it. When I first started, I chatted Rena as I worked, but now I didn't have that luxury. Are we gonna get、uh, Colonel Randy? Finally? Like, how deep is this, man? I had swung the hatchet countless times today, just like this. Contact, shards of wood splintered. The assailants butchered the victim's body with hatches and pickaxes. I recall that passage from the tabloid. One hit with something like this would smash someone's head in. Axes and pickaxes pick are not meant to be swung at people ever. With one last swing, the beam cracked apart. The weight I put behind the hatchet not only split through the beam, but smashed the statue's shoulder as well. The arm came off with a sickening sound. It clattered down noisily, stopping at my feet. ごごめん人
Oh, the arm broke off. Oh, just like uh, the, the murder this member meant, right? I probably had a really guilty look on my face. Rena said that without a hint of dismay as she smiled. I mean, I guess, right? They still haven't found one of the arms. I laughed dryly at how pathetic I was for considering the arm flopping down and rolling to my feet to be such a bad omen. But Arena and Mio knew how sickening that incident was. So they pretended that they didn't know. I had looked it up all by myself. And shamefully enough, I was scared. The right time to give three cheers. The moment of two days of work bearing fruit. He was brought to Hinamizawa covered in filth to meet his end. Instead, we were able to welcome him back. You're pretty lucky, Colonel Randy. Your new master is a pretty decent person. It didn't matter that he was dirty. Rena nuzzled him cheerfully with her cheek. I was dead tired, but seeing Rena's happy face made it all worth it. I mean, the thing is probably very big, right? I thought Rena could even carry that. <laughs> For now, I just hold back my evil cackle. We were ready to take it to her house, but we couldn't go like this. We rolled the statue up into the tarp and lifted him. And so Jack and Jill went down the hill carrying a human sized bag and then unsheathed the hatchet. I prayed that we wouldn't run into, into Tomitaki san. <laughs> Oh yeah, because, yeah, the statue is pretty much like a human, right? And their people is going to be like, oh, what are you carrying there? If he saw us here and took a picture, well, we'll need to get rid of him. Lol. <laughs> is that meant to be a warning for an outsider like me? Something struck me as odd about the words Sumitaki-san, unable to grasp my sense of humor, had left behind. We are actually going to see it? Oh, I didn't, didn't. I guess that scene ended. Higurashi when they cry. Oh, chapter finish. Okay. We got new tips. What kind of name is Rena? Let's check it out. I mean, Rena. I mean, Rena is a pretty normal name, right? I don't know. Maybe is it a is it a normal Japanese name, Rena? Mion, Mion, I know Mion. No, a lot of Yon, Mion, Rion, Shion. There's a lot of On names, right? Rena, where did you go? Rena, you I hadn't heard about anything about that. Sato Rena, Rena, Rena. Upon hearing it repeated, I thought I, I thought it came to my mind. It's rude to say this about someone's name, but it was a weird name. 
It was like some foreigner's name. Lena, te, do you name it? Nando, na. Lena, te, kanji da to do naru da. Lena wa adana na no desu. Chanto shita namae ga arimasu desu yo. Oh, nickname. Okay, what is her real name, though? Eh, so na no ka? Ora te kiri. Ryugu Lena te no ga honmyo da to omotte da yo. Okay. Mo toshiko ni. I remember if you watch Family Guy, right? There's a character there called Meg. And it was pretty funny. Because her name is Meg Griffin, right? And then there was an episode that they showed her birth, birth certificate. I think maybe it's not, it's maybe just a joke or something. But yeah, her full name was Megatron. <laughs> something like that. Megatron Griffin. She even signs her name as Rena. It's like her real name in school. Satoko and Rika chan looked at each other. Oh, Reina. Okay, Reina. Reina. Reina is much more. Um, what I've seen a lot of Reinas in like shows, games, etc. Reina ka? Sore de Reina ja nakute, Reina te yomu no ka? Yeah, pretty much remove the eye, right? Moshiroi yomi kata da yo na. Reina, Reina, Reina. Iye, chigaimasu desu. Reina de tadashii no desu. Reina san ga itta no desu wa? Reina to yonde hoshii itte. Dakara, Reina san na no desu wa? I understood what Mion was saying. It didn't matter what her real name was, only what names we used between us. Rena Ryugu is Rena. She's nobody other than that. Adana de yobare no ka? I mean, they've been calling you Kei. Kei chan. Omoshiro ke ya ne? Nante yobare tai wa ke? Echigo ya. Horn man. Alright, Rena then came back to the classroom. I thought it was over. One of the juniors near the door told Rena people were looking for her. Are are? Dare ka Rena no koto o sagashite ta ka na? Seeing that, both Mion and I sneered. のれ竜宮ねのすけ。ここであったが100年目でござる。いざ覚悟。スケさん、カクさん、懲らしめてやりなさい。スーケさん、カクさん。あやいさですわ。報酬はスイス銀行に入れてほしいのです。<笑> Swiss bank account. Since it's come to this, we have no choice. We'll just have a grand battle with five people. Rena's fierce punches exploded just as soon as she had shown her seal. The evil at Mion and myself was vanquished in the end. Rena, I want to to Yona Oshi. How do you feel? No. Cute stuff. The tall of the bell signal that a break time was over. I took Rena's hand and stood up. It was just as the teacher had entered the classroom. Just one more hour. Man oh man. Got to buckle down for one more. Is it done? Okay, we're done.
we are done for today yes so yes pretty much another slice of life episode today they were playing a zombie tag in the beginning and then the other half is yeah it's basically similar like last episode right we had games and then the next episode we went and tried to get colonel randy but now we got randy so maybe next episode it will be more interesting right but i kind of like the pace though honestly i like the chill how chill the the moments are right now and then maybe yeah of course i mean of course we're later on in the story i guess it's gonna be like yeah as this is a horror game right it's gonna be much more tense but i like right now that yeah it's very chill it's what do you say this uh heart war not heartwarming but it feels good moments right now is what i'm saying right so yeah it's pretty good i'm enjoying it not gonna lie just even if they're pretty much doing this uh this normal things right i'm quite enjoying it for some reason but uh, yes we're gonna continue this and do more of higurashi onikakushi in the next one so i'll just see you then guys bye bye